What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Jada Janae, and I am back with another video, and it's your artist about the title. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how I installed this wig from Hermosa Hair Company. This wig was super cute, um, and I did decide to go in with some wine curls, but if you're new to my channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Also, turn on both post notifications so you can be notified every time I post a video. Major shout out to them for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the install. So I'm going to start out with a bald cap using my regular bald cap method. I'm just going to go ahead and cut that on the ear so that it can lay flat when I apply my glue. So I'm going to go in right before my hairline with my Erica J Lace glue. And I'm just going to put that all around all the way around just so that it can lay relatively flat and I'm gonna take my comb and push that forward so it will not get on my edges so once it has dried clear I'm able to go in and cut that off after I've applied the makeup and that is just what y'all see me doing Cutting and making sure that it's all the way off any excess. Then I'm gonna try the wig on. You gonna know, see how that wig looking on your head. See if you gotta cut anything. See if it's too big or anything like that. It's just what y'all see me doing right there. Trying it on, and I just cut off the extra lace because it's so unnecessary and big and in the way. So yeah, that's what y'all see me doing first. Then, once I have my placement down and everything, I'm going to take my Erica J glue and I'm going to put that on top of the ball cap and I'm going to move it forward onto my skin. And that is what you guys are seeing. You can do about two or three layers, maybe even more depending on the type of hole that you want, how long you will be wearing this wig and things like that. So here I'm going to go ahead and pull the wig down into the glue book once, because once it dries glue, once it dries clear, you can go ahead and pull it down. So once you pull it down into that lace and that glue, you want to go ahead and just tap it in, tapping it into that glue, making sure that it's melting completely in. And there were a couple spots that I felt like I had to pull the hair out just because it just didn't align with the hairline. So... Feel free to do that. These are the thing with lace is it is completely customizable, so it's not a one size fit all type of thing. You can definitely make it your own and fit it to your desires, shall I say? So here I'm just cutting off any excess or extra, just making sure it's perfect though. All right, so you can go ahead and cut the lace once you get it down exactly to where you want it to be. I use a straight eyebrow razor. I find that these are the best and they give you a more jagged, natural look versus any type of shears that I've ever used for this process. Starting out, I didn't know how I wanted to style this hair, but I always find myself going back to a side part 
so that is what i'm prepping this up for i love something about a curved side part i just love so that is what i'm doing parting off all these baby hairs and getting it set up for a side part install The soup is my favorite part. It just gives chef's kiss. Like, it's just perfect. So I didn't leave the hair exactly how it was. I ended up putting light wine curls into it. I think it came out super duper cute. Once again, Hermosa Hair Company, thank you all for sponsoring this video. I definitely think that this wig was very pretty. I will say that it does need a little bit of oil because it will get kind of dry. I associate that with that with it being kind of a curly texture but yes this wig slayed it ate down i did wait a couple of days to film the intro and outro so that's why it didn't look as fresh but even then it had still looked cute even after that i had worn it for a couple of days thank you all for watching i love you all and i will see you guys in the next one